There are a few new faces in the door and quite a few of them start today. We'll take a look at the team lineups, starting with, uh, with the high bees. In goal, David Marshall, Chris Cadden, Ryan Porches, Rocky Bushiri, Marianne Cabraya, Char Tavares, Noan Kenna, Joe Newell, Elias Melkerson, Ewan Henderson, and a first appearance uh, for Ellie Yuan. Find Cadden now on this near side. Ellie Yuan goes out to this near touchline. Lovely ball back to him from Henderson. Chance here for Hibbs. Yuan knocks the ball right across the penalty spot. Kenna has a good effort just over the crossbar. Watched closely by Remy Matthews there. That was a lovely ball, Mickey, across from Ellie Yohan there, and, and no one anticipated it at all. No. Just rolled across the penalty spot. Just no yeah. one willing to take the gamble on it. Good football, Cliff. Really good football. Cabraya plays the ball in. Go. Chance here. Oh, oh, Ewan Henderson it was coming in at the back post. The ball eluded the St Johnston defenders. Henderson got on it, but he just couldn't turn it goalward. Clips it wide of... The far Excellent post. Ball. Great ball in. Lovely great ball, ball in. You'll be disappointed in the score yeah, there. He will be. Great, 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 great ball in. Just a wee lack of composure. But Cabraya does well. He does Kenneth. And Newell now striding forward again. That's a lovely great ball for ball. Jar Tavares. Chance, does well. Chance, Inside chance. the area. Tavares. Oh. oh, he's done everything right. He's dragged the ball back. Taking two St Johnson defenders out of the game and then just leant back fractionally on the shot and lifts it over the crossbar. It's amazing that, because we were talking about, you know, Joe Newell. Joe Newell can pass a great ball forward. Yes. When he plays in that type of game, keeps it simple, plays it forward, yep. he can find a pass like mm. that one there. Yeah. Just down the far side now for Cadden. Melkerson does well to find Henderson out the far touch line. Nice ball through for Cadden, continued the chance, run. Great ball chance. over, chance. It didn't fall nicely. Cabraya gets the shot in. Oh, and Yelly Yohan somehow got the head on that. Guides it goalwards, but just over the crossbar. Much better move from Hibbs. Cadden, great run forward. It's literally on the byline. Four or five yards outside the 18 yard line. Newell. Cuts it to the edge of the area. No, and Kennett tried to play it into the box, blocked by a St. Johnson defender. Cabraya has it for Hibbs. Tried to find Elias Melkerson, but couldn't. Oh, that's a shocker of a challenge from Murray Davidson. He got there as quick as he could. But that's a poor challenge. Chris Cadden, the referee, know about it, and there's a few, uh, a few more players now starting to get involved in it. Fortress it was that felt the brunt of it. Tail Bear, I think it was. And Henderson is it's Murray Davidson, it is, of course. There's nothing like a tackle to get the support of oh, yeah, <laughs> Murray Davidson been involved in a couple of hefty challenges during the game. And the referee is getting a wee word in his ear from the assistant. It's a straight red, Murray Davidson off the park. The St Johnson supporters round about us absolutely furious. But the referee took his time there and took advice from the assistant referee on this near side, Graham Stewart, before producing a red card. Matthews won by Kenna. Cabraya does well to find Joe Newell. Kenna again. St Johnson picked that one off though, it's played out wide by Carey to Montgomery. Carey drops into that little pocket, gets the shot away. David Marshall has to be full stretch down to his left hand side to palm that one wide for a corner and he's furious that that shot was allowed to come in there. He was just standing off there a little bit. Yep. Graham Carey saw the opportunity. Cadden back for Porches. It's about that horizontal transition there, Mickey. <laughs> we were talking about it earlier. Oh, on. don't start me on that. <laughs> Cadden tussling out the edge of the penalty. He's done well to get that one back into the box. As is Newell. He's oh, nodded across. Oh, chance here. That's great defending. 
great defending again by Mitchell. He's certainly been the pick of the St Johnson defenders in there for me, Alex Mitchell. Throwing himself in there to just to clear that one, yeah. Newell's done really well there. He's nodded it goalwards, and that is, yeah, Christian Dodge is just about to nod good morning to that one. Conson then gets the head on it. How's have the corner? One good delivery and just get someone on the end of it. Ewan Henderson will take. It'll be Henderson to deliver mark two. And it comes right footed. Great ball. Decent ball. Yes. It's in the net. Tibbs have the goal. It's Josh Campbell at the back post. A fabulous delivery from Ewan Henderson. Josh Campbell got the head on it. Matthews, the St Johnson keeper, I think got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out. And Hibs have the lead in the 89th minute. And look like they might have just done enough to take the three points here at McDermott Park. It was a great delivery, Josh Campbell. In fact, I think it came off someone else. Josh Campbell diverted it goalwards. It might have hit Rocky. Towards halfway. And the full-time whistle goes here at McDermott Park. And courtesy of Josh Campbell, oblique Cammy McPherson, Hibbs have the three points. I mean, you could say they made heavy weather of it, Mickey, because it took till the 89th minute or the 90th minute to get the winning goal over the piece. Hibbs certainly looked by far the better side of the two, 